Hi, I'm Phil, and today I'm going to talk about um, watering plants with a little computer called Atom and also some software called ESP Home. So I'm going to use this mind map, and um, it starts off at the top with a description. Uh, some of the platforms where I'm using ESP Home, some of the peripherals that are connected to the computers the software needed, some of the projects, and finally, the references. So um, what ESP Home is, it's a free and open, soft, open source software for home automation. And it works in conjunction with Home Assistant. And it uses uh, little computers based on either the ESP8266 or the ESP32. And the idea is that um, you can use um, configuration files and they're fairly easy to set up and they um, connect with Home Assistant and um, can be used to do home automation systems. So the applications are in home automation, and I've added it to my gardening projects. So the platforms, well, the first platform that I'm working with is uh, M5 Stack. And the reason is M5 Stack have exclusively gone for the ESP32 and a fairly low cost at uh, $7.50 is the Atom Lite. And that's the one that I'm going to be using. And uh, I had to do a little bit of research to find out where the ports for the I2C were, because that's um, uh, I'm going to um, use a watering pump, not with I2C, but with the GPIO. And um, the other computers you can use are the M5 Stack C, the Fire, and the M5 Core. But also, it works quite well with Seed Studio, and in particular, we are Link. And um, this week, Seed Studio will be releasing Azal ESP32 3C kit for the um, ESP Home. And I also tried it with Lilygo, uh, didn't have much luck there. So we go back, there's the Seed Studio, and we are Link is um, about six years old now, and it's based on the ESP8266. And uh, if you want to put um, life into an old uh, computer, um, this will um, allow you to use the We Are Link with uh, ESP Home. And uh, for peripherals, there are a big choice of those now. And uh, all you have to do is select the uh, the scripts and um, add that to your um, ESP Home, and um, Home Assistant will integrate with it. And uh, here are some of them. I'll be using uh, a combo, so we'll um, we'll have a look at that. Now for the uh, sensors, I've um, already started uh, hacking commercial uh, products like the. Um, particulate matter sensor from Ikea. And um, this is interesting because uh, it has a um, PM 2.5 particulate matter sensor and a light unit. And for under $20, it's a, a bargain. And what we're adding is a um, M5 uh, stamp computer that um, will integrate that into our home automation system. But also, uh, it works quite well with the uh, Seed Studio Grove PM 2.5. And um, I'm trying some of the other um, sensors also. And for actuators, as, um, not as many, but um, there is um, an interesting one here on the bottom, which is totally configured for ESP Home. So you can purchase a uh, power plug that has a ESP32 on board, and um, you can easily integrate that um, with ESP Home. And the unit I'm going to use is a 
M5 stack watering unit, and it has um, both a pump and um, a soil moisture sensor on board. And for um, $11.50, it's um, quite a bargain because it um, simplifies the installation where you only have to connect the water uh, to a um, water reservoir and the other um, pipe goes into the soil and you connect this to the um, M5 stack atom. Now for software, I'm using Home Assistant, ESP Home, and also I'm looking at a Bluetooth low energy proxy uh, so that uh, in addition to the um, functions that I'll be describing for uh, the plant watering, I'm also going to extend my Bluetooth uh, on this device. Okay, so um, besides this software, I'm using MQTT Explorer to see how my software is performing. So um, for the software, um, Home Assistant, it's capturing all the entities and it uses scripts, something like this over here. And um, a lot of these scripts are already in libraries. So all you've got to do is find the right um, script and uh, add it to your um, configuration. So uh, it uses a lot of service calls, such as on the one on the bottom. Uh, a service call could be a um, turn on the lights. So you might think of this as a service-oriented architecture. And uh, here's the configuration I've got with um, ESP Home. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, embedded in Home Assistant. So we've added quite a few devices. Um, and uh, the Atom um, uh, projects uh, are all using the M5 Atom computer. So for the low proxy, low energy proxy, Bluetooth, uh, this is still experimental, and I, I'm working on that. Okay, so here are the projects, quite a few of them. So I've um, done some testing, the plant watering. I've uh, had success with the um, grove, uh, both the particulate matter, 2.5, and also with the BME 680 to measure um, temperature, pressure, humidity, and um, innocuous gases in the atmosphere. A little bit of success with um, uh, the uh, WEO link computer, um, but much harder to, uh, to get going and no success at all with the Liligo. Okay, so for the ESP32 plant waterer, uh, I'm going to go through the project. You can get a bit of an idea of the desktop arrangement and you'll see me using it outside later. So we'll look at the objectives, the design of the project, the hardware, the components, configuration, and um, we'll walk through the software, and I'll give you some of the results, and uh, finally the issues. The only result that really didn't work was getting the extended um, Bluetooth uh, passive Bluetooth uh, monitoring to work. Okay, so the objective is, is to uh, take a published paper already uh, on this project and get it to work. And that um, project was called Plant Waterer, and I'll give you the reference for that later on. I'm going to install the software on Home Assistant Server, and in particular, I'll be using ESP Home. And I want to test if I can integrate everything, uh, including the M5 Atom and the M5 Watering Unit. Uh, and initially, I'll have it on the desktop, but I I'm going to put it outside and see if it works there. So the design, I'll be using ESP Home, the Atom and the Watering Kit, both from M5 Stack. And I'll be automating everything with Home Assistant. And I'll be controlling the uh, water pump and I'll be able to access the RGB 
LED on Atom, and I'll be using the um, water sensor and sending all that data via MQTT to um, Home Assistant. So for hardware-wise, I'm using the um, Atom Light, and uh, you can see what that looks like over here in the pin configuration. So I, I'll be using the Grove connection. And I'm also using the uh, water unit, also from M5 Stack. Need an empty water bottle, and of course fill it with water. But I'm using a couple of extra uh, water containers to give me a little bit of waterproofing in case it rains. Plenty of rain here at the moment, and um, I still need to uh, get this working. Okay, the watering unit, uh, it's a capacitive measuring uh, device rather than a, um, uh, a resistance measuring device. And uh, you can see that it comes in a kit uh, with the watering unit a suction and uh, suction pipes. And to put it all together, we start off with the atom. You can see both sides of that. And uh, we uh, connect the Grove socket, the Grove cable, to the M5 watering unit. So you can see where the pump is on top and the soil probe, and all of that is in the one unit. And that's going to communicate via Wi-Fi to the home server, which is um, hosting Home Assistant and ESP Home. And I can use a, um, a Chrome browser to uh, look at uh, Home Assistant and see how everything's performing. So here's what the software looks like, uh, ESP Home. And you can see I've added a, a number of devices already. And the ones that I'll be looking at here uh, were created um, with a button on the bottom. So um, add a new device. And the devices were both the um, Atom Pump 6 and the Atom Pump 1. And uh, here's some of the software. So you, you can see for the Atom Pump 1, uh, some of the uh, software here where I'm initializing uh, the uh, parameters and um, I'm setting up the keys and passwords for the API and you'll need that API to uh, integrate uh, the um, application with um, Home Assistant. Home Assistant will ask you for that and um, I'm uh, setting up Wi-Fi and later on I'll set up MQTT. You can see a little bit more of the software on the left. We're um, looking at M5 um, RGB LED, uh, and we can access that. We can actually um, switch that on and off from Home Assistant. And on the bottom, I've um, actually simplified this just a little bit, uh, mainly to speed up the testing. Um, so I'm not doing the filters uh, with the... Um, uh, calculation of the average and the moving average. Uh, I'll uh, do that later on because there is a, a little bit of noise and I need to compensate for that. And I'm also not doing the, act, um, the full attenuation and I'm not using the measurements. So you'll see on my results, you, it won't be percentage uh, dryness. It'll actually be in volts. And um, there's a binary sensor and that is the uh, soil moisture state. So if it's less than 80, it will turn on the pump. It will re return that value to Home Assistant, and um, that will turn on the pump, which you can see on the bottom how that's been turned on and off. And finally, we've got the um, MQTT. Just add the broker address with the password and user, and uh, you'll notice on the bottom uh, to make sure you get a, a unique name for the topic, um, you can just add this um, this template here for the device name. So you don't have to keep on renaming that all the time. Uh, okay, so uh, this is what the results look like on MQTT Explorer. So uh, on the left, you can see that um, we've got the, um, we're online 
and uh, we get a, um, a graph on the history, a bit like this one. So right on top here, when it's above um, 80, we're um, wet. So we've started off with a dry condition around about 75, popped up the wet, then went back to a dry condition. And uh, we've integrated that with um, Home Assistant, and in particular, it's in the garden. So uh, along with other uh, devices, we've got the garden lights, but we've also got the, uh, the pump, both with the light. We can turn on the light here uh, or the pump manually, and uh, we get the uh, results. So if it works automatically, um, this will go on by the um, ESP32. And it's been added to the outdoor area. So you can see with cameras, uh, I've added, and uh, this has been added to um, Home Assistant. So the results, uh, it's working with um, MQTT Explorer. And uh, you can see on top that it's um, showing the wet to dry, it, um, showing a bit of noise when it's in the wet condition. So it probably would justify uh, sampling and taking um, a moving average uh, measurement instead of individual measurements. And uh, on the bottom, you can see it going from dry uh, to wet. Then I'm just giving it a little bit of moisture, then it goes back to a, a wet condition. And all of these results are on the desktop. So uh, I've achieved um, my results or I've achieved my objectives and um, the published paper or the published project definitely works. Uh, I've made a, some modifications and I've paired it with my um, MQTT server uh, and um, it's working with Home Assistant. So it's not only now working on the desktop, but it's also working outside. And after you've um, seen this series of slides, Stay tuned and you can see it working in the garden. So for some of my references, uh, go to the ESP Home webpage and uh, explore that and particularly have a look at all the sensors that are available. And uh, I recommend using some of those on your projects. And stay tuned um, as um, Seed Studio have some excellent projects in this area. And we'll be releasing this week a new kit uh, based on the Azal ESP32 C3 computer, and uh, that'll be included in a kit. But I've also got to recognize the original uh, project from um, uh, Lasclat and uh, just recently published. Uh, while he had a, a bit of a, a problem getting it going, it was working uh, for him, and there's the reference uh, for that. And my project is based on this reference. So that's all there is from now. This is the um, M5 stack watering unit. And I've got two of them in the garden here. Uh, there's um, one pump, and it's got a cap on it for some water protection. And uh, here's another one over here. And uh, these have both a uh, soil moisture sensor and also a uh, water pump. The supply of the water pump is just over here. And uh, the computer that powers these, also protected uh, from the rain at the moment, there are um, M5 stack atom light computers and uh, they're being powered by a uh, USB battery just here and um, that's the M5 watering unit powered by the M5 Atom Light.